This is Stu Carlin with the D-Zone here with third-year head coach Flint Power, Zach Collins. I know you guys didn't have the outcome you wanted, but you, you showed up. I mean, you played well. It was a competitive game. There was a, it was a game of runs. They had, they had depth a little more than you had. But I felt it was it was it was an overall pretty good you know performance by both teams. Yeah, for sure, and that's that's what we came out here to do is um, you know just play as hard as we can and play as well as we can, and whatever happens happens. And sometimes that's basketball. I mean, when you get two great teams going against each other, sometimes it just comes down to uh, make who makes and make, who misses more shots, and we just happened to shoot a little better than we did tonight. But um, it wasn't for lack of effort on our part or, um, of our guys. I'm just extremely proud of how hard we fought tonight. You know, multiple times they went on big runs and we just we didn't quit we continued to fight back um, just in the end we came up short and um, that's okay but it doesn't take away from the great season these guys had and, and the work they put in to get to this point it's just great perspective coach and exactly right and you guys did fight you know yeah. I thought there's a lot of guys in your team that stood out to me I mean, obviously Javante but uh, number five was it was a zero that hit that big three yep, yep. Uh, and, and, how, and, and you got you got a lot of these players coming back I mean a couple of them are seniors yeah but yeah. you have you have a pretty good uh, makeup from next year yeah no for sure and, you know Javante had a great game and um, um, Connor's been hitting big threes for us all year um, you know Baylor you know he was huge for us today with his defense and finishing around the rim um, and you know I just thought overall the guys that played Christian Dempsey Jesse Grant um, they all gave us something out there they all battled they all gave us toughness they fought every possession um, and, and it took a lot out of them and um, you know maybe that's why we you know, our shots were a little we missed a lot of shots but um, those are guys that have been impacting the game and impacting winning all year and even if it didn't show up in the score sheet today they impacted the game and um, you know, just extremely proud of them. Coach, you've done a great job with this team. They respond to you well. It's only your third year. Uh, you were a top 50 team, which in the whole state, which is obviously impressive. And, and you got to the Breslin. So yeah. I know I know you got to feel a sense of accomplishment. So. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I told the guys in the locker room, man, I know it sucks right now, but um, you're going to look back at this and, as a, as one of the greatest achievements of your life. I mean, because it really is to get to this yeah, point. Yeah, just getting here. Exactly. Yeah. To be one of the last four teams in Division Two here. I mean, unfortunately, only one team gets to go home happy at the end of the day, and the other teams have to, you know, are upset that they didn't win at all. But yeah. um, so that doesn't make, you know, everybody else a failure of a season. And, um, yeah. you know, it's, it's all about perspective and 22 wins, you know, a great year in the SVL, one of the best conferences in the state and making the resume. I mean, those are just huge accomplishments. And again, it's only the fourth time in school history we've been here. Um, Amazing. And so they have so much to be proud for, uh, proud of, can't hang their heads. Um, you know, just got to continue to, you know, look back at this as what a great ride it was. Hopefully we'll see you here next year. I know, yep. I know Ross is yeah. not happy. He wants more. He wants yeah. more. Uh, All right, that's Zach. the goal. That's All right, the goal. Zach. Thanks. We'll have some hungry guys. Thanks for talking to us. Yep, you're welcome. All right, man.